Well, the DA's response to the budget is that the minister was talking about making bold choices and doing bold things, but there was nothing bold about this budget at all. In fact, we think that it was a lost opportunity, a missed opportunity to do some really good things for South Africa. If we look in particular at growth, our economic growth is very tepid. In fact, the budget projects 2.5% growth. We're not going to get there. We may even end up in recession this year because we're most likely to be grey listed on Friday. We do support the fact that there's more money on the National Prosecuting Authority. That is in fact what the DA had requested. Also that there are going to be rebates for solar installations up to 15,000 Rand. Now the DA called for that but we wanted 100,000 Rand. So the Minister never went far enough. Also, we also support the incentives that will be put into place for business to get into renewable energy. We think that's a step in the right direction, but that is still not enough. In particular, the minister did nothing to provide tax incentives to encourage domestic saving. For example, increasing the limits on tax-free saving. He also did nothing to encourage foreign capital investment, for example, like scrapping a foreign, ex a foreign exchange, which it can do quite easily. But the biggest problem we have here is the transfer of 280 billion rand of ESCOM's debt from ESCOM to the national balance sheet. Now, the problem with that is it does not create an incentive for ESCOM to become more efficient. And also what it doesn't do is place itself within a specific frame of a package of recovery for for our energy sector. So for example, it doesn't unbundle. ESCOM is not talking about independent power producers. There is no plan there. So just transferring the money from ESCOM onto the national balance sheet is going to push up national debt. It's gonna push up interest that needs to be paid and it's gonna further crowd out service delivery. So we don't support that. We also don't support the bailouts to SAA, to the land bank and to the post office and to the post office in particular because that money is not going to the people of the post office who are employed there because they're being retrenched. This money is to fund the state bank and we don't support that. SAA also was supposed to be sold to consortium so where is this tough love that the minister has been talking about? But the biggest problem we have here is that the minister had sufficient money, for example, to cut the fuel tax completely. That with, a, with a budget overrun of 90 billion, he could have taken 80 billion of that and completely scrapped the fuel levy, which, have, which would have pushed down the price of petrol, pushed down the price of transport, pushed down the price of food because it all knocks on didn't do that and also he could have taken part of that overrun and funded the removal of that on the extended basket of food as the DA has proposed and so that also was an opportunity that he missed. So on a whole we believe that this budget demonstrates that the minister has got no political space to manoeuvre. He is in a stuck space and also he's got no financial space to move either and that's reflected in this budget. There's nothing bold about it and it was in fact our opportunity that was missed.